Good Tuesday morning, everybody. I'm Jared Klein coming to you live from the NBC 29 digital desk with a look at today's top local stories and trending stories. We start off this morning with the removal of Market Street Park's curfew hours. That was a hot topic in last night's Charlottesville City Council meeting. It resulted in tents popping up, of course, in the park, and the majority of those who spoke at the meeting supported the city manager Sam Sanders decision to remove curfew. They feel such rules criminalize homelessness, but other urge police to take more control of the situation. Sanders explained his reasoning for the decision. The intention was to ensure that I could make sure that our police department and the unhoused population did not have any further negative interactions because I thought that was important. I wanted to give the chief, chief the space that he needed to do the investigation that he did and now that, that is done it is time for us to figure some things out. That is what we're working on. Part of Sanders' long-term plan includes creating a shelter that's open 24-7, 365. Well, Charlottesville's Redevelopment and Housing Authority wants to improve the West Haven community. It wants the city to help foot the bill as well. The improvements are estimated to cost more than $100 million. The authority says if it can begin developing a master plan soon, work could start by 2026. Virginia Realtors has released its 2024 economic and housing market forecast. It predicts there will be more home sales next year compared to this year. The report says sales are expected to increase by 11 percent from this year's levels, but compared to other years, that's actually a slow housing market relatively. Mortgage rates have been hovering above 7 percent for about a month and a half now. And a beloved Orange County restaurant is making its comeback. The country cook and legacy is returning under new ownership. The revived restaurant is now called Country Cook and Depot, and it is keeping many of the original fan favorites. And it will also be adding some new features like beer and wine. The restaurant is hiring for all positions. It is set to open in early November. So mark your calendars for that. Yeah, I went there years ago with my dad. Mm -hmm. uh <laughs> It was really good. Was it good? I think I was in college, and so my parents, they, they lived in Orange before they moved to Charlottesville, and mm -hmm. I remember being home anyway. We went, and it was, and everyone was there. Yeah. Yeah, and it was actually really good, so it's nice that they're reopening. Yeah, you'll have to go visit it again. I know. Mm. Okay, so this is, a, I wanted to give everyone just kind of like a heads up here. So tomorrow, uh, the federal government is conducting a nationwide emergency alert test, so literally mm. everyone's cell phones, the radios, TVs, they're gonna sound this alarm at 2.20 Eastern time. So tomorrow at 2.20, your phone will sound off this alert. Yeah. So I kinda want people not to be alarmed that they're doing that, but it's just in a test of emergency. Uh, system in yeah. the country. Yeah, and they've done this before, I think a couple times. Yeah, so, so don't be don't freaked be alarmed. out. Don't be, <laughs> don't be alarmed about the alarm, okay. Yeah. All right, so um, we talked about this, I guess, on the morning show, too. Um, there is a forever stamp with Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Supreme Court Justice, and um, it's kind of nice. So I guess there's only been, um, the Postal Service has only done this with, I guess, maybe a dozen um, justices over the years, mm. but um, she will be on, they just paid tribute to her and her life and legacy, and so there's a look at it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah, I'm surprised it's only been, what do you say, only a dozen or so justices yeah. that have been featured on stamps. Right. Uh, I am too. Yeah. So, um, so look out for that. And then finally, I feel like this is ingenious. <laughs> so there are these microfiber machine washable mop slippers that you can just wear around your house. And as you're walking or kind of shuffling around, you're kind of mopping and dusting your house. Yeah. I, I think that's a good idea. I'm going to get these for Christmas yeah. for my children and <laughs> there you so go. they can start cleaning up after themselves mm -hmm. and not even realize it. Well, you know, my dog's a corgi, so he sheds everywhere. Yes. So these would definitely come in handy. Maybe they make little paw-sized ones. Yeah, there you go. He <laughs> run around and <laughs> clean up his own mess. Right, exactly. But yeah, I think these definitely, I like the idea. Yeah, I like the idea too. So yeah. there you go. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast another warm one out there today and we're staying warm until later this week when we're back down into the 70s and then a cool more fall like weekend on the way with highs in the upper 60s lows in the 
mid to upper 40s. So definitely a cool down by the end of the week. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday out there. We'll see you again on NBC 29 News at noon.